Hello, this is Bern, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the five crucial signs you need to watch out for if you suspect that your guy is cheating on you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. First things first, if you're experiencing the thought or if you're having the feeling or hunch that your partner, your guy is cheating on you, my heart goes out to you and I commend you for taking action right now, for learning more about what might be taking place so that you can address it immediately. One of the biggest challenges I've seen in women who experience cheating for some time is that they let it go for far too long before addressing it. And once you address something, you can really make a change in your relationship, whether it's making the relationship better, because cheating doesn't mean it has to end, even though it might, or change and have a different relationship going forward in your life. Now, let's agree on a common definition. So we're talking about the same thing right now. I'm gonna use Esther Perel's definition, who talks about a secretive relationship, that's part of the nature of cheating, that has two elements. There's an element of emotional connection, and there's also an element of sexual alchemy. So if you have these three things together, it's secretive in nature, and you have some feelings of, there could be something more, and there's also sexual alchemy. There's a gradient in cheating. You go from anything from innocent flirting at one end, which is for many human beings cheating, to full right having sex with somebody for years and years on end behind closed doors or in a hotel room. So because there's a gradient, I want to make sure that you understand that if you're experiencing some feelings, that the sooner you address what's taking place, the sooner you put a stop to it, the sooner you set a boundary that's healthy in place, the more likely you are to catch this in a place where you can still solve it. So the first recommendation I have for you, regardless of whether you're single and entering a new relationship or you're in a relationship that you're suffering from this, is you and your partner proactively need to come to a common definition of what cheating is. Because if he thinks that cheating is something other than you, then he might be doing something that in his eyes or in his ears, in his mind, is justified in some way, even though it feels sort of weird. But once you both agree on something, then he's clearly breaking the rules. You are greater, my dear, than anything can happen to you. After you watch this video and you address the situation, it ends up being that he's cheating on you. Know that as challenging or painful as it might be, it's far less painful than it would be a month three months, six months, or a year from now. So this is the lesser of two pains if you were to address something right now. Just understand that. So first sign that your guy might be cheating on you is a nonsensical change in behavior that's abrupt. So you know him, you know who he is, you've been with him for a while, and suddenly he starts being erratic in his behavior in ways that are not really understandable. Uh, you might ask him what's going on and he's unable to explain it to you. He doesn't have the time of day to explain it to you. But you notice that things are changing. He's changing his appearance in some way. He's changing habits in a way that doesn't really add up. But, I mean, there's changes that are positive. A guy decides to start exercising more. That doesn't mean he's cheating. It could be, but it could mean that he's getting healthier. But when there's no rhyme or reason for the changes in scheduling, in behavior, in time alone and he's unwilling or unable to express what's, uh, what's happening, that might be one sign that cheating is in the beginning stages and it's starting to take place. One thing that I need you to be aware of is as you're listening to the different possibilities of cheating, the more things that you check, the more boxes you check, the more likely this is to happen. I'm gonna leave one at the end of this whole thing that is kind of like an obvious thing, but for some people it's not really obvious to make sure. So if you see that one, the fifth one, just wait until the end because that's typically a clear sign that there's something that's wrong that's taking place in that relationship. It might be cheating and probably is, but it could be something else as well that needs to be addressed. Second one is a change in his affection, a change in the way he looks at you, a change in his sex drive. So when you know the way he is and you know him to be someone that's charged electrically, He's someone who gets excited. He's someone who gets horny, for lack of a better term. And all of a sudden, he's losing that. I mean, again, there's many things that could provoke that in him. Uh, lower testosterone, emotional challenges that have nothing to do with you, problems at work. But when that takes place and other things are not adding up, when you notice that you used to have sex in a certain frequency and now it's not taking place, and when you bring it up, he's not really able to express what's going on, but you know that you still, when you see him, 
emotionally, internally, your intuition tells you this guy still has a sex drive, he's just not sharing it with me, that's something that needs to be addressed. Again, whether it's something as simple as he needs to check his levels and his hormones to make sure that he's, because that can pr provoke other sorts of challenges health-wise that above and in excess of your emotional challenges with him. But if, if it's not that, then this might be an area that you need to address. Why? Because if that sex between you and him is not great, if the sex is lacking, if the frequency is waning, then it's far more likely for him to feel validated by somebody else, to feel excited about somebody else that's not you, and to eventually take action in a way that would disrupt or even destroy your relationship. Third, he gets weirdly jealous and accusatory in, in, in ways that he hasn't before. Maybe he's someone who's been relaxed or sort of jealous, but not in a weird way, and now he's getting really extreme about it. Maybe he's pointing fingers at you. Maybe he's, and it comes out of nowhere. You've had friends for a while or you're doing certain things. Your, your habits aren't changing, but the intensity with which he's accusing you of things changing is taking place. That's typically a sign of someone who's doing something weird, somebody who's doing something that's outside of bounds, and he thinks that you might be doing the same. So this is sometimes a sign of, again, other challenges that might be taking place in him, but when it comes out of nowhere and when he's very intense about it, this could be a strong sign that he's doing something absolutely uncool and uh, unfaithful and he's trying to reflect that on you. He's projecting his own fears about himself into you. Now, before I go into my last two points, I'd love to invite you, if you're single, if you're watching this, you're single and you want to understand how you can attract a conscious man into your life and you want to do this in a way that's fun and exciting. You don't want to waste time. And you're saying to yourself, I don't know what the cool guys are. I don't know what the great guys are hiding. I want to attract better men. Then go to the first link on the description of this video. And you will see a page that looks like this. If you enter your name and email, you can start watching my free training right away. Number four, he over explains his answers. So what does that mean? You ask him a question and then he talks a little bit too much about what he's doing. Like, so what did you do today? And then he starts describing things in a way that's too much. Or maybe he, you don't even ask him for an explanation and he starts sharing in a way that doesn't, that feels off. Why is he giving you so much detail about something that maybe he's never giving you details about? Why is he being overly explanatory in his answers? That's part of it. The other part that relates to communication is when he's not oversharing, but you ask him about something he did, you ask him where he was, you ask him who's messaging him, you ask him any sort of thing that is not necessarily something cool that's happening in the relationship, you feel like something's off, and when you ask him about it, his reaction is over the top, instead of just calmly. If you have nothing to hide, you can calmly say, hey, this is what's going on, but when you have something to hide, you're gonna overreact to make sure that the person who is accusing you of something tempers down, it's kind of like, gaslighting. You're going to share something to the other person that makes them think that uh, the problem's on them. They're crazy, they're irrational, uh, and you have, you're indignant about it. Like, how dare you question my whereabouts? Uh, instead of saying, hey, I was here and here. I mean, relaxed, calm, because you have nothing to hide. When he's over the top with his reactivity, when pressed on something that he's doing that feels shady, that's a clear sign that something weird is taking place. It may not be cheating, but it probably is. And the last one, and, and I know that there's different flavors and takes on this, but I just have to shoot it to you straight. When he is weird about his phone, when he's secretive about his phone, when he's uncomfortable when you get next to his phone, when he's hiding from your view as he's typing something, when he does, his phone is ringing and you can hear the text come in and out, but he's not even turning around to see who it is. And if you ask him about it, he gets flustered, he gets anxious, he gets tight. That's a sign that something shady is taking place. Again, there's a possibility that it's something from work that he doesn't want you to know about, there's a higher possibility that he's hiding something because someone is texting him something that he feels ashamed of, that he knows would erupt uh, a reaction in you and he doesn't want you to know about. So phone, email, any electronic device type communication where he's not open, he's, he's not relaxed, he's not, he's not leaving his phone open, he makes sure that it's tight, that it's locked, that you don't know the password, like, that's a sign that something weird and 
effed up could be taking. So here's my take on this situation. If you're sensing that there's a few of the signs that are taking place, you need to have a conversation with them. And you need to stop pretending that nothing's going on. Why? Because while you don't want to accuse, you don't want to do what some women have shared with me. He was cheating on me for five years and I need, didn't know it because they felt some of these signs. They pushed them down. They didn't ask. They weren't pressed enough to ask the question. It's not their fault that it happened. They could have done something along the lines to ensure that it wasn't the case. So I'm talking to you right now since you're listening to my voice. If this is taking place right now, you need to have a conversation, you need to clear things out, and you need to be courageous enough to know that even if the worst case scenario, he's cheating, there's solutions, there's alternatives, including ending the relationship, but you want to know what's taking place instead of imagining that it's not taking place. If you find this is helpful and useful, please click like and subscribe, uh, share a comment with your biggest takeaway, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.